Well, it's official. He officially started to rip down the engine in the old square body. There it is. Check it out. So we got the throttle body taken off. We're gonna have to get a gasket kit for that. We got the headers unbolted. Of course, all the front pulley system off, power steering bolted, alternator and hook. We got all the wiring pulled back. The only thing we gotta do, we got all the valves, the jars out. We gotta take out a few more valve temperature gauges, but other than that, it's pretty much done up top here. Haven't drained the coolant yet because I wanna get some cardboard laid down first before we do that. So I'll have to drain the coolant. Water pump is just gonna pull right off because I need it. And then we just gotta go underneath, unbolt the starter, take off the drive shaft. I'm gonna pull her out as a unit. One other thing you gotta to do too is this is a new distributor I just put in, remember that video there. It's gotta go back because it's the truck's got a, a miss every once in a while and it never did it before. So we're gonna take that back. I think it's a piece of junk. We'll get a little bit better one instead of a quality, premium quality, we'll get an extra premium quality. Well, maybe you'll get a Holly or something. If you're watching this Holly, here I am. But we're gonna have to clean the spacer up for the throttle body. Here's the old throttle body. I did take it apart. There it is there. So I took most of it off. I gotta get another bolt to hold on the throttle positioning sensor. Other than that, I clean this up, the injection, it fits right on the new one. Now you can see the difference in the ports. There's a the port there. We can fit, uh, you know, screwdriver in there pretty good. This one here, we shouldn't have put this together so you can see it, but you can see the differences. That's a 750 and that's a stock. So we're gonna go with little bigger holes there for this engine we are. So she should be good, but we gotta get gasket kit, gasket, gasket for the base, this, that, and the other friggin' thing. So that one's there, is ready to go almost. Like I said, just gotta order some gaskets for it. Clean that up. What else? Storing all the stuff in the back of the truck because you know, gotta clean all this stuff up. We'll start to clean all that up once we put start putting it back together. Next couple days here or so. We'll be yanking the rat out and the hoses off and unbolting the transmission and picking up a cherry picker from Steve. We're gonna pull this inner fender well back out because I did have a brake leak and it filled all the paint. Instead of redoing that one, I'm just spot another one. It wouldn't show up at the shop, nobody claimed it, so I just bought it. It was 40 bucks my cost, so I'll have $40 in stripping that thing. So I'm gonna just repaint a new one and keep that one as a spare. But if anybody needs an inner fender well for the driver's side of a square body, let me know. But we'll be able to get this firewall all ground down and smooth and oh yeah we're gonna take all that apart we're gonna take all this apart and clean it all all in the frame and everything else we're gonna put new uppers lowers on put all new you know bushings and stuff in there so that will be all mint pull the power steering pump out maybe change it while it's out we'll get a high ratio one so you barely turn the wheel and she turns they make them now so we'll get one of them because it leaks but it's gonna be a long winter because this is gonna take all winter so if you're my friends and you, you know me you're not gonna see the old Chevy pickup truck out for the rest of summer now because she's pretty much ready to come out. Took the grill off like I said I was gonna do so we can get it glued again. There's the other engine, you know, like you seen yesterday. She's mint ready to go. Got some of the bolts just sitting in her so I remember where brackets and stuff go, you know, because it's gonna be a while before I put this together. I should tape that up so no dirt gets in there. There we go, that was easy. This is gonna be mint. I can't wait to pull the engine out actually so I can climb in here and just give her. Hey, clean her all up. Oh, it's gonna be friggin' decent, Jim. What do you think? Gotta get, steal the plate off the bottom here for the, gotta steal that plate because we don't need mechanical. We got electronical, so we can put that cover back on there. She'll be Bob's your uncle. This, that, and the other friggin' thing. What do you think? I got the ground strap off, I didn't forget it. Cause you know, a lot of times you pull an edge, you forget the ground strap. I enjoy doing this stuff, I really do. I'm not in a rush to do it, so it's, it's kind of nice that way. I got until spring now to get this done. So it's gonna be friggin' awesome. I could probably almost unbolt the friggin' engine mounts too right now. Nah, we better wait until we get stuff unhooked downstairs. Friggin' right, we better. Oh, so tomorrow night when I get home from work, we'll bring some cardboard home and we'll drain the antifreeze together. Leave your comments down below if you wanna see that because I don't mind uh, draining some antifreeze. Oh, I did pull off the head snatcher and the stomach breaker. There they are up there. If you're working on these things, you either bang your head on this or you stick that into your gut, especially if you have a gut like mine. So we just removed them. Might need to get a new cable too because this cable looks a little cocked over, but hey, it is what it is. This rad, might need to put a new rad in her too. She's looking a little... <laughs> Frank, I can just see the dollar signs. 
I'm floating here. Gaskets, this, that. I'm gonna need a dry shaft probably for that transmission. Oh, God. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's not think the worst, boys. Let's think the best. But tomorrow, like I said, we'll get all this out, we'll get out that, we'll get out the rest of this and that, and get out as much as we can, get it the hell out of here, get out all these hoses, unconnect them from up there. And, uh, yeah. Then we can yank her. Leave a comment down below if you want to come by and help me yank her, because I'll probably need an extra hand for that. I don't be able to yank it by myself. I should be able to, I've done it before though. Back in the day when I was 20. Now I'm older than Dex. But hey, still should be able to do her. Can't wait to see how this throttle body works. I hope this injection system will work with this engine. Hey, another question I got for you. The O2 sensor that's down on the, the uh, header, so it reads if it's rich or lean. There's one down there on the header. Can I put two on the header? Can I put one on this header as well? Because this cylinder has been run lean. So if I put an O2 sensor on each header and link them together, will that make it read both sides? Will it read both sides at the same time? Leave me a comment down below and let me know if that will work. You know, just kind of tee them in together so they're both working. Or is there a kit? Or something, I wanna put two in. I got a crossover pipe, but it's too far back for it to read. By the time it gets back there, it's too late. So I want something right at the header that will read richness and leanness right there. Leave me a comment down below if you know, cause we'll unbolt them too and pull the headers right out of here and drill a bong into that and slap another one of them in there. I think that might be a good idea. I do. <sighs> I love making things better. Look at all the cleaning up I gotta do though. I gotta take all them off and clean up all those brackets. It's gonna be awesome. This thing, you know what, I could have this done in probably three weeks, but I'm not rushing it all winter, so. Let's, like, let's make her last. And let's take this thing back, put it in that box, and give it to them. She put it in the box right now. Let's do it. Do it. Since I don't need it for a while. We can do it. I'm gonna shove right up her bum. The old one? There you go. She's all yours, boys. Now I just gotta find my receipt. That should be fun. Freaking right, it should be. I'm gonna keep that fucking gasket. Okay. So there, we'll take that one back. And we'll order another one. And we'll order a better one. Cause I ain't gonna put no cheap son of a bitch in there. Should I order one with a red top so it looks cool? Probably, hey, probably look pretty cool. Dave, we're getting close, bud. I'll have to make a deal on those heads. Should pull them off and have a look in there, see how gummed up this 400,000 kilometer motor is. See how gummed up this 400,000 kilometer engine is. Let's do that, who wants to do that right now? Let's do it together. I'm in, Jim. Oh yeah, one, eight, one. Holy. Oh, I dick. Oh, that's a lot stronger than I am. Friggin' right it is. I never did say it wasn't weak anymore. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Maybe. Crowbar. Oh, dick. She's going now. Hey, you know what? That there looks pretty damn clean for 400,000 kilometers. Does it ever. Holy cow. Not too bad. Friggin' right, not too bad. Let's let this back on now. Got in there. Got it. Got it. Oh well, freak. Get in there. There it goes. One, two, four. There you go, boys. All right. Well, there we go. So tomorrow, like I said, we'll get the uh, cherry picker or the next day or the weekend or whatever. I should text Steve and say, hey, I'm coming, Jim. We're gonna need an engine stand too at some point, which I can probably get one from Steve again, because that way I can bolt everything up to that engine when it's due. Actually, I don't need, I don't need an engine stand until after I'm done cleaning underneath, because then we'll roll the truck out into the winter time and then uh, start putting the engine together. That's right, that's what we'll do. Okay, but anyways, there's an update. Truck's officially off the road, engine's officially tore apart. So here we go, Jim. So hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know if you want to stick around for this content. Holy, this camera's in serious wide angle. I look fatter than dicks. But anyways, that's the way she looks, boys. Hopefully you want to see more of this. Leave your comments down below if you do, and I'll take you along for the ride. Freaking right, I will. See you later.
Gator? <laughs>